Hi guys, thanks for tuning in my channel. Today we're going to talk about the things that I eat during my journey to being healthy. First off, I have to tell you guys, the one thing that is so important to being on a healthy journey, you can take all the diet pills you want to, you can work out all you want to, but the main key, 95% of the battle is nutrition. And 80% of that battle is water. It's just that simple. You gotta drink water, guys. You gotta drink water. You're supposed to drink at least half of your body weight in water in ounces. I'm 224, so I'm supposed to drink 112 ounces of water each day. Never done it. <laughs> I have a Brita water bottle and it holds 22 ounces of water. And I do my best to drink three of those a day. And that keeps me pretty fine. Besides the health benefits and that helping you lose weight, one thing that water does is it keeps your body flowing. So if you have any problems in the bathroom area, yeah, water will help you out every time. Just drink some water. Drink 68 ounces of water a day and I promise you, you'll send me a message and say you feel better. <laughs> the other things that I do is um, I cut out as much sugar as possible. I cut out as much bread as possible, and that's difficult for me. Bread is my kryptonite. So when I say bread, I mean anything made from flour. Bread, pastas, cakes, pies, honey buns. Cut it out. That's where your stomach fat comes from. Uh, fried foods. Cut it out. You don't need to add extra oil into your system. You don't need to do that. So, we don't do fried foods. We don't do a lot of breads, cakes, pies, and things of that nature. Fast food. Your enemy is McDonald's. Your enemy is Burger King. Your enemy is Taco Bell. All those places where we have those fast foods that are processed foods, those are your enemies. It's empty calories. You're not going to get full from it. You're still going to be hungry. And you're going to eat something else. On an average day, you should have no more than 16 to 1800 calories a day. In one of those meals from one of those places, that's your whole calories for the entire day. That's like having money and wasting it, throwing it down a black hole, and knowing that you still got to pay a bill. That's real stupid. So don't do that either. You want to stay away from those kind of places. What I've done is I mainly eat at home. And if I have to eat something outside of my house, I try to go to some place like that gives sandwiches. Um, so I can make sure I have healthy options or a salad. I like honey baked ham. They have nice sandwiches there. And I like Jimmy John's. They have nice sandwiches there as well. I ate a lot of vegetables. I like asparagus, broccoli, beans. Beans are your friend. Beans fill you up. They're full of protein. Um, another thing is when I eat, I try to make sure every time I eat, I have a major source of protein in there because, like I said, protein keeps you full. So in the mornings, you can have like a piece of fruit and an egg. Um, for lunch, you can have whatever the meal is and make sure protein is in there and for dinner as well. Another key is that you try to make sure that your biggest meal is lunch instead of dinner. Because if you make your biggest di meal dinner, in a few hours, you gotta lay down and go to sleep and your body hasn't had time to burn that food off. So that's kind of productive. So try to make your biggest meal lunch. Um, it could be whatever you make for your family for their dinner, you eat that for lunch. And you have a salad and something else for dinner. For snacks, I um, tried little teeny things like this, uh, ice cream in the store. Um, I have those at night sometimes. Snack. Sometimes I have a banana with peanut butter on it or graham crackers with peanut butter on it. Other snacks I like to have, I like almonds. Sometimes I have dry cereal as a snack. Um, now, let me tell you the truth of the matter. Every single month, one week in a month, I don't exercise. I don't care about calories. I don't care about points. I don't care about none of that. Ladies, you all know what happens one week at a month. I feel like that's torture enough so I don't torture myself anymore. 
So I mainly, my, my diet those days mainly consists of chocolate, pizza, orange soda, yeah, anything like that. <laughs> it's very counterproductive, but that's just what I go through. I suffer very badly that one week of the month. And so I eat what I want to eat. But the rest of the month is I eat healthy. I eat um, vegetable medleys. I eat lots of fruits. So I eat melons. I eat berries. I cannot eat pineapples and I can't eat a lot of tomatoes because of the citric acid inside those fruits. They bother my stomach. And so I have to try to stay away from those foods as much as possible. But that's it, guys. Water, fruits and vegetables, lean meats. Lean meats meaning chicken, fish, sometimes I'll have salmon. Um, every now and again I'll have ground beef, but mainly ground turkey, things of that nature. And stay active and stay busy. I know a lot of the people who watch my videos don't live near gyms. So I would just suggest you live out in the country on these long roads. Get outside in the morning and go for a walk. Get outside in the evening and go for a walk. You know, when you park your car at the grocery store, don't park next to the grocery store. Park as far as you possibly can so you can get you some activity in and some walking in. Get you a, a little thing that goes on your waist that tells how many steps you've taken that day. You're supposed to take at least 10,000 steps a day. If you can take at least 10,000 steps a day, you'll start to lose weight. Just by taking those steps, drinking plenty of fluids and waters, and trying to cut out those sugars and those breads out of your diet. I've done it, guys. I've gone down from almost a size 20 to I'm um, almost in a size 12 now. Still got a long ways to go, but I'm invested in the cause. I'm here for you guys. I'm here rooting you guys on. We can do this together. I love you guys. Thanks for watching again. Have a great week. Bye-bye.